You want to be in the vid? No. It's recording now, dude. Okay. How do you... Uh, I don't want to tell them about how Big Country did it. Damn, I look good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore, and today is not Sunday, boy. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so we're not going to the racetrack, but today is Saturday. And we are headed to the track, Shadyside Dragway for Hogs Gone Wild. Yeah, that's right. We're not hogs, but we are wild. And we are going to a Harley race today. This should be a lot of fun. Big Country, on the other hand, he kind of hoggish. Look at him. Just stand up, Big Country. Look at the shit kickers Big Country wearing. Boy, he's styling and profiling. So anyways, if you've seen in one of our last videos, Big Country has got a stock wheelbase high booster that he just picked up and he took it to the track for the first time ever and did pretty good with it. I went, what'd you go, 630s? Yep, 31. 631 was his best pass ever, but he just couldn't quite get the launch down. So for those of you who have ridden a stock wheelbase bike, whether it be trying to launch it in the street or at the track, you know that it is extremely tricky and difficult and we need the right parts to go fast. First thing we did called Brock's performance. What'd he do? Hooked it up right here, guys. Brock's clutch mod, Brock's clutch cushion kit, shim kit to make the spring stiffer. And then of course, you know, we got a maintenance her up, do the Allison Pro Drive 20 oil, and, or Pro Drive 21, I'm sorry. And then the Petron Plus additive to keep everything safe. Just this oil alone is worth a couple horsepower. Yeah, that's right, boys. Change the oil in your bike and gain horsepower. And then this Brox Clutch Cushion Kit, this is gonna give us the nice, smooth, even launch. Big Country's gonna show you how to install this stuff today, show you how easy it is. And you know we hooking you up. We got a discount code and a link below so you can get yourself a discount on these same parts. We gotta get busy. We gotta be at the track in a couple hours. So we got the clutch kit out, Big Country got it out here. And you see here, this is what we're replacing with the Brox Clutch Mod. This piece is a two-piece assembly. And when you replace it from Brock, it's a one-piece and it's way lighter. So this piece is actually steel and heavy, and the piece that he makes is all aluminum. So the difference of saving a half a pound on the actual transmission gear input shaft itself is actually a big deal. It does free up a couple horsepower with that. And like I said, this is gonna make our launch much smoother because we don't have any play in between there and there on that clutch. So, and then of course you see we're replacing the clutch springs, putting a heavier spring in it. This is the old spring. You can see the diameter of these much, much thicker, much, much stronger. Gonna get down good big country launches. All right guys, those of you who don't know, I'm Big Country. Welcome back to the channel. Chris, he's out in the dino room or something, so I snuck. I got the camera. We don't got time to wait on him. We gotta get this bike ready for Hogs Gone Wild. I have installed the Brox Clutch Mod and the Brox Cushion Kit, which also comes with the fancy adjustable lever. You got y'all. You can't feel this, but this, this is a big difference. Big difference. This thing was real, real jumpy when I was riding it before. If I tried to turn it up and leave hard with it, this is the solution to my problem. So now I'm going to install the oil that, sent, that Brock sent us. And uh, we're going to head to Shadyside. Used to a lot of Harleys, a lot of cool bikes here. 
lot of different stuff we hadn't seen. We're gonna make a shakedown, big countries in line. We're gonna make a pass, see how these things do. All right, this round across the game brought up by Chris Moore. We're trying to see which one's really the fastest. Kawasaki Suzuki, Chris. I like the Suzuki better. The Kawasaki does make good power. I'm not a Kawasaki hater, but I'm riding my Zook. <laughs> now, which clutch feels the best? The Suzuki for sure. On a GSXR versus ZX10. Now, a ZX14 is really hard to beat. The ZX14 is a good, really good clutch. So once you get all the fine kinks out of 10, you don't think the clutch can beat with this one still? I still like my Suzuki. See, that's just the dark horse.
of it hogs going wild what a fun event come up and made a couple practice passes with the 2020 1000 tried a few new things today pretty much same results 527 527 526 it was a little cold like i said there was a lot of pollen on the track and we were fighting a little tiny bit of a spin issue wasn't able to run the air pressure we wanted and like i said i think that's what limited us to that number but crazy consistency no matter what the track conditions that's what we like to see big country he made some good passes on his new brock's performance equipped hayabusa this thing performed super good all day super consistent he went a best 60 foot time of a 160 60 foot keep in mind guys this thing is a bone stock bike stock gearing stock everything just a more mafia ecu flash and dyno tune and a brock's performance exhaust and clutch mod overall super good performer 200 he might be 200 plus now boys big country to add the pilot at the controls doing his thing out there that's gonna do it for today's video guys quick run down of those time slips we'll see you back in the next video be sure to subscribe to the action may 15th is going down goliath motorsports park we got the battle of the brands t-shirts they are finally in stock check those out moremafia.com thanks for watching guys smash that like button and we'll see you next time